Welcome to Potter's training video on how to program releasing systems. First, let's look at our options when it comes to addressable fire panels. The AFC series panels are listed for pre-action sprinkler systems only, while the IPA series and the ARC100 panel are listed for pre-action sprinkler systems in addition to agent releasing systems. The system we'll be working with in this example will be a small server room application consisting of an ARC100 panel, a horn strobe, one solenoid, one abort switch, two smoke detectors, two heat detectors configured in a checkerboard arrangement, and our manual release pull station. Let's take a look at the point screen where we can see that our points for this system are already programmed, with NAC1 being the general purpose horn circuit, NAC2 being our Gentech sync strobe circuit, IO circuit 1 is our release solenoid, IO circuit 2 is the abort switch, and then our SLC loop, with 1 and 2 being our smoke detectors, 3 and 4 being the heat detectors, and SLC number 5 being our manual release pull station. Now let's move on to the zone screen and we can start to configure our system. We've already got the three zones set up that we need for this system, which is going to be one zone for the smokes, one zone for the heat detectors, and then our actual releasing zone. Let's go ahead and configure our smoke detector zone. It's going to be an alarm style zone, silenceable and latching, but we do need to change our output pattern for the march code. On first alarm on our system, we want our horn to have a march code pattern. Now we can begin to bring in our points. We're going to bring in the horn and the strobe and our two smoke detectors. Now let's move on to our heat detector zone. We're going to have the exact same setup that we had for the smoke detectors, so we're going to change our output pattern to march code. We'll bring in the horn and the strobe and our two heat detectors. Now that we've got our two first alarm zones set up, we can begin to program our releasing zone. The first thing we need to do is change our style to releasing. This will open up the releasing options in our zone settings. The next thing to look at here is the output pattern, which we don't need to change because we're going to leave it as constant. This output pattern is referring to the output on the horn circuit when the system is released. Once we scroll to the end of the zone settings, we can see all of our releasing settings. The first option is the abort type. You can see the different types of aborts listed on the screen here. The most common of these being the ULI abort type, and that's what we're going to use for our system. Next up is our pre-release timer. Once we have reached our parameters for a release, which in our case is going to be a cross zone of one smoke and one heat, that will start our pre-release timer. For the purposes of our example, we're going to change this to a 20 second timer. Our next option here is the pre-release pattern. Whenever the system is in pre-release, what pattern will be coming out of the horn? We're going to use double time for our system. We will have march code on first alarm, double time on pre-release, and then constant on release. Next up is the manual release timer for whenever the manual release pull station is activated. Again, for the purposes of our example, we're going to change this to 10 seconds. The next option is manual release abort allowed. If the manual release pull station is activated, can you use the abort switch to stop the release? And this is just a simple yes or no. By checking the box, you can allow an abort on a manual release activation. The last option here is the soak time for when the release is activated. Now let's go ahead and bring our points into our releasing zone. So we're going to need our horn and strobe, our solenoid and our abort switch, and our manual release pull station. The last step for our system is to enable our cross zone under the cross zone screen. First we'll enable cross zone line number one. We'll select our server room smokes for input zone number one, server room heats for input zone number two, and our server room release for the output zone. One thing to note about the cross zone screen is that it functions as an AND equation. So in our current program, it'll take zone 1 and zone 2 to activate the output on zone 3. If we added a third zone to the input section, it would take one input from each of the three zones to activate the output. Now that we've completed our program, let's take a look at our system in action. Going back to our server room here, we see our system that we just finished programming. The first device that's going to activate is the heat detector closest to the fire. 
which will then activate a march code pattern on our horn stroke. Once the smoke detector is activated, that completes our cross zone and puts our panel into pre-release mode, causing a double time pattern on our horn strobe. Once the pre-release timer expires, our system will release. Another common type of system would be to have the same server room, except for this time we just have four smoke detectors. And in this case, we want any two smoke detectors to activate our release. So we can see our points list here, and now we've changed it from two smokes and two heats to now we just have four smoke detectors. The zoning for this type of system will be very similar to what we had before, except now it is only going to require two zones. Our first zone is going to be our server room smoke detectors, containing all four of our smoke detectors and our horn strobe with the output pattern set to march code. Then we will have our actual releasing zone, which contains all of the smoke detectors, the abort, the pull station, and the horn and strobe, with the style of releasing and the alarm count set to 2. The output pattern here would be set to constant, and then we would go ahead and fill out our releasing options just like we did before. That concludes this video on programming releasing systems. For more information, please contact training or tech support at the information listed on your screen.